Gucci bag. Um, hey y'all, so it's been a while. Um, literally just got back from Jamaica last week, imagine. Um, I always find it really difficult to do these videos of like nothing on my face, but it's part of my journey. So I need to get used to it. So bear with guys. Um, and I say nothing on my face. I don't always wear makeup in my, in my videos, but I normally like look a little bit more done up than hair in a bun basically. Um, but you know what? I had a really interesting conversation today with a friend of mine. Um, and I was talking about these YouTube videos and what I wanted to do with them and like who I wanted this to target, etc., etc. And um, one thing that he said to me that I never really thought about was that in me hiding certain aspects, and it's not hiding, it's just not divulging certain aspects of my journey. I'm actually shoehorning my target audience um, to a set amount of people when actually there's a lot more people that I could relate to. I never thought about it like that. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, is that in in that journey, I think it's the vulnerability side of things. It's the it's the having to show you guys, I'm not even having to, but I want to, I genuinely want to show like another side of me that I think I thought I could kind of like just cut it off and keep it moving if that makes sense. Um, but actually he was right. And I thought, I don't want anyone to think that this journey was easy for me and that I was just like, boom on camera let's go because that's not what it's been I mean I've known that like through obviously my faith journey that God's been wanting me to create a blog um for years and I'm talking like 2014 years um that's when I first started to hear that I needed to write things down and I need to write a blog out <clears throat> and I'm not great at writing I did start a written blog um but I think I got scared from people's feedback from that so then that kind of put me off because I was like, oh, like, I don't want to upset anyone and I don't want anyone to think badly of this and that and like look upon my family in a certain way and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think now that I'm at this age and I'm trying to divorce myself from other people's opinions, um, I'm like, okay, what do I want to showcase? How how do I want to show up for people? You know, how, how do I want this platform to show up for people? And I keep screaming authenticity, authenticity. Like I want it to be something that you come to and you're just like, ah, oh, like she talking facts, you know, um, or someone that you can relate to at the very least. And in me hiding certain things or not showing, sharing certain, certain things, should I say, I can't even get my words up. Um, it doesn't help, it doesn't help anyone. Um, Cause it makes you feel that you can't relate. And I, that was the biggest issue I had. Going through my whole journey is still a big issue that I feel like I can't relate to the, the, so, the, the people that I'm seeing online, I don't relate to them. You know, like their struggles are not my struggles um, or they're not being honest about their struggles um, or they're sugarcoating it or they're making it seem like they just woke up flawless, you know, overnight and that's not necessarily the case. Um, or they come across like, you know, the strong, fierce, like, you know, formidable woman. And it's like, okay, but life hurts, you know, <laughs> things happen and I'm not always strong and I wish I could be, but I'm not always. So I think that was a real like wake up call as to how I wanna maneuver these videos. So right now you're seeing me in my pure state. Um, my eyebrows need doing desperately. Um, and yeah, my hair, I'm actually going through a bit of a weird hair situation at the moment. I've been losing hair and I'll tell you about that later on. Um, so now my hair's starting to grow back but I've got like really small bits of hair. Um, that's going to be a whole nother journey in itself. I'm excited to go on this with y'all. Um, <coughs> while I try all the products out, oh my goodness. Um, I always said I wouldn't do that, but small, small, I think it's important um, to see which ones actually work and which ones don't. So <coughs> for anyone that's out here that has hair growth tips or whatever, please let me know. Because I used to have lovely long thick hair um, and since the weight loss, my hair has disappeared basically. Um, I've even got like some gaps actually. It's really sad. That's why I wear my ponytail a lot or I've been trying out wigs as well. Um, but yeah, so I want to be able to take you guys through the Vanessa journey. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think it's going to be real healing even for myself um, to put it out there. Not even out there, just to, to kind of decipher what's happened. Um, and kind of break it down into stages and really kind of dive deep into the subjects um, because it's not been easy. And I think this journey for me right now is a journey to self-love. Um, and as the channel says, we're redefining beauty, baby. Um, 
because I just feel like I'm watching these young girls and a lot of them don't have good role models and um, for the most part I don't think a lot of us have um unless it was in di- like your family or whatever um but looking out there and looking at the people that you look up to <clears throat> and I'm not saying everyone's trying to be a role model but I think there is an element of responsibility when you are successful that there are going to be people that are going to be looking up to you especially young girls for those women you know and likewise men do you know what I mean I think generally young people looking up to celebrities in any shape or form or anyone that's kind of making it in life or doing something um you have that element of responsibility to the people that are watching you um to try and help them as much as possible as well and be real about your journey whatever that looks like um because again you don't want people to think that you've got this overnight when that's not the case um or that it's easy because when they try it out themselves and they realize this is not an easy journey you know it can be disheartening it can then demotivate and it's like no know that this is difficult know that i've put out six thousand videos before anyone got seen do you know what i mean and at that point then all of a sudden this happened or this happened or that happened or this person saw it etc etc um and that's me manifesting in the future because this is gonna be my one of my first videos so i don't even know um But yeah, like, I think my journey is very much one of self-love. It's one of understanding my value, my self-worth. It's one of me connecting with God and my battles with God Um, and me trying to do things in my own strength and it failing time and time and time again. And then me being put in a position where I'm super uncomfortable, like this video, um, and doing something that I wouldn't normally do. You know, I think a lot of people meet me in person, like, oh, like you have such a, a YouTube personality. And I'm like, mm, that's great. Uh, it's not going on YouTube. Um, so, you know, so for me to be actually doing it, I'm just like, oh God, like, am I, is this where I'm supposed to be? It might not be, this might only run, like I might do three or four videos and then nothing else happens out of it. Um, you know, but I'm really hoping that, like I said, as part of this, I can find the love of it and I can find a new passion and uncover something and I can help somebody in the, in, in, as part of the journey. Do you know what I mean? Um, what you call it? Another thing, oh yeah, my nails. So I'm going short at the moment. So you'll see in my other videos, I've always got these long nails. Um, I'm using bio, bio ab, bio, it's probably not called that, bio ab. It's some gel thing that they put on your nails basically. Um, but I've cut them all the way short because as part of the weight loss as well, um, I'm losing my hair and my nails because I'm not getting enough nutrients in my system. So I need to up my protein intake um, to make these stronger. So yeah, there's also that. Also this setup is actually very comfortable. You might see more of these videos from my living room because girl, this is easy. Um, but yeah. So I just want to make sure that we keep consistent, that I'm staying consistent um, with what I'm producing. Um, And that, yeah, like we can have these one-to-one conversations. Um, Obviously I realize that this is being pre-recorded and no one's actually interacting with me. However, um, I want you guys to shout me in the comments, all of that, DM me, um, slide into the DMs. and give me topics, things that you want to know about, um, any questions that you have. I know that I think one of the big ones will probably be my weight loss, um, which I will get to, I promise you. Um, but I do definitely want to take you on a journey before I get to that point. Um, and the reason is, is because it's not been an easy, it's not been easy. It's not been an easy journey. Um, I suffer with PCOS. I've got ovarian cysts. Um, so that's inside and outside of the ovaries. Um, that's all very hormonal. Um, and that in itself is a nightmare. I've had to battle depression as part of that. Um, the whole child situation, I'm about to be 32. Uh, that's mad. Um, I'm also redundant at the moment. So I mean, I have a job. Um, so <laughs> again, like at the moment I'm taking any opportunity to travel wherever I can, which is why everyone's been like, oh my gosh, you're living your best life. I am in one sense and another sense, I have no idea what I'm doing with myself. Um, so there's like this happy worrying situation that I'm in where I'm like I don't know where my next paycheck's coming in um I'm okay for money right now and I know God will provide um and he's not going to put me in this situation for no reason right um so you know um it might be to push me into this to this moment this exact moment you know that might be what's happening he might be just be saying right V I need you to 
strip away from all your distractions, from everything that you thought was bringing you security. And I need you here right now in front of this camera to talk to these people. Yes? Okay, cool. Well, we're here. So um, we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Um, but yeah, I think that in my test videos that I, I probably will post at some point. Um, but I think in those videos, looking at them, I'm, I am being authentic, but I think I'm hiding a lot of the gritty, the gritty that happened, you know, the hardship um, that, that came along as part of the journey to self-love. And it's not easy. I mean, my goodness, I posted my first, my first bikini photo ever the other day on my Instagram, check it out. Um, and it was more of a, how do I put this? Like a well done to me in the sense that that sounds really big headed, but it's almost like I've always, I'm always nitpicking at myself. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, this is too saggy. This is this, this doesn't look great. Like, and I've been doing this nonstop for like my entire life. I don't actually remember a time where I haven't looked at myself and said, oh, boom, I love this about me. Like, I don't, I'm always looking at something and being like, oh, this is too this, this is too that. That looks horrible. That's saggy there, that's this. You've got stretch marks here, you've got this. And this has been going on since I can remember. And I think it literally got to the point where I had the first, the first time I thought about it, was when I was away in Atlanta and I was trying on clothes for a night out. And I remember me being like, oh, but you know, I can still, I've got a bit of a bump here on my belly, da 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 da. And I was looking at the outfits that I was trying on and I was like, oh no, but this, but that, but that. And then I had to actually stop myself and say, Vanessa, you are like, now I'm a size eight. I'm a size eight and I'm still not happy. Like what, what will it take for me to be looking at myself and be like, God damn girl, you did good. You know, like what would it take for that? And when will I be happy? Because I'm just constantly nitpicking at myself. Like, why? Why am I doing this? And I said, I need to stop like speaking negatively over myself because it's, it's not gonna help me. And I'm just gonna get more and more upset. I'm gonna be trying to fit into ideals that I don't need to be fitting into. And it probably won't look healthy for me anyway. And then like nothing's ever gonna be good enough. So I need to genuinely stop. Um, so that was the first time and that was what, last year, November. And then come December now, obviously I've gone to Jamaica on some, Vanessa, do you wanna come to Jamaica last minute? Yes, I do. Um, so I went to Jamaica and again, I'm wearing a bikini and I'm looking at my body and I'm like, oh, but this is still saggy here. And I've got marks here on my stomach and this, this and that and blah, blah. I don't know if I wanna show that. Like, I don't know what I wanna do yet. And I stood at myself, stood looking at myself in the mirror and I said, Fuck, I'm in a bikini. Like I'm in a bikini. Like, you don't know how big that is. That is huge. For someone like me that's been in a swimsuit and wears shorts with a swimsuit, because I got to a size 18, like I was big, you know? And I was I was uncomfortable with my size, very uncomfortable with my size. And I think more so, and this, is go, this goes back to like, obviously my self-love journey. Like I hated myself, you know, that's the truth. I hated myself, I hated what I looked like. I hated so much about me. Um, and now when I look back at my bigger pictures, I feel sad. I genuinely feel sad. I feel sad that I was so horrible to myself because that body got me through so much. Like I went through hell and back in that body. And all I did was cuss her out, shout at her, scream, cry about her, hate on her. And it was, I had no reason to do that to myself. The world is already hard enough, you know? And there I am being a bully to myself. Like, why would I do that? Do you know what I mean? Like, why Why would I do that? Now I look back at her and I think, damn, like, I should have dressed her better. I should have, you know, bought her the latest this. I should have bought her the latest that. I should have made her feel fantastic because she was having a hell of a time, you know? And she needed looking after. No one else was looking after her. She needed looking after. And that was my job to look after her. And I didn't. Instead, I ridiculed her. Instead, I made her feel a type of way about herself. And it's funny because now, when I have people look at my before pictures and I hear raw, like you were bare big. I think to myself, excuse me, don't you dare talk about me like that. Don't you dare, because you have no idea what I went through. You have no idea what she went through. You have no idea what she handled and what she like survived. And do you know what? It makes me feel stronger in myself because I'm like, yeah, damn it. Like, fuck, sorry, language. <coughs> I'm like, raw, like, 
she fought the world. She fought the entire world and she still had a smile on her face. Not only that, she still looked after your ass when you were going through X, Y, and Z. So no, you will not speak about her like that. I'm not having it, you know? And in turn, it's made me now look at myself and gone, my goodness, that body allowed me to get to this body, you know? And now I can sit here in myself and say, yes, we're doing it. Like I'm happy and I'm loving myself. I'm trying to, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm definitely still on a journey. But I look part at the year that I've gone through and the years like subsequent that, if that's the right word, sorry. Um, I sometimes use big words. I don't actually know what they mean. <laughs> I feel like they sound right in my head and I put them in, but they actually probably don't mean anything related to what I'm trying to say. But the years prior to that, um, and I look at myself and I think, rah, like I did this and I did that and God allowed me to an opportunity to do this. And I remember I did my 2023 wrap up um, that I saw a lot of us doing. And I felt like, yeah, I'm gonna do one as well. And I looked through that and I thought, my goodness, have I experienced a lot and I've met so many people and I myself have changed so much in that year. And I'm proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. I'm proud that I made the decisions that I needed to make for myself. I'm proud that I've made, I've done things that I've wanted to do. I've said no, I put boundaries in place because we'll come to boundaries because me and boundaries zero, by the way, especially when it comes to people I love. Um, and I've really had to learn that saying no is okay and not feeling guilty about it. But my goodness, like looking back at the year, I'm just like, rah, like I've done it. Like I've done so much and I've achieved so much and I've not had a job. <laughs> I've not had a job. I've had no income since April last year. Imagine, um, everyone's always like, oh, like you're doing this. How have you got all this annually? Baby, I ain't working. I ain't working. Um, and the job will come if it needs to come. Hopefully this takes off. But if not, the job will come at the right time. Like when God wants it to. So yeah, I'm going to try and be as transparent with you guys as humanly possible. Um, there'll be things that I might delay because it might be part of a bigger story or whatever. Um, or it might not be the right time. I'm going to pray about it always. Um, and make sure that I'm bringing the right message to you guys at the right time. But just bear with me. Okay, bear with me. We trying out here. We trying. Um, and I'm getting emotional. I am. Because even just to get into this video, like, my gosh, it's a journey in itself. It's a journey to put yourself out there. It's not easy. Like, my hat's off to everyone that's done it. Um, I mean, I know some people, like, they talk about things that they love and it's not necessarily personal things. But those people that share their personal journeys, my hat's off to you because it's not easy opening up. It's not it's also not easy opening up to yourself because as much as you guys will watch this and whoever does watch it, we pray a few people. Um, but at the same time for me, even saying it out loud to myself, cause that's all I can see. I can only see me in this video. You know, it's a reminder of the journey that I'm going through. It's a reminder of where God has brought me from. Um, and it's exciting and nerve wracking. Like, I think one of my um, one of my favorite quotes is by Marian Williamson. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, for those that would you call it um, love Coach Carter, that's one of my favorite favorite films um, ever. And this is my favorite quote in the whole wide world. Um, and I think this is so just true to like what where what I'm going through what I'm going through right now um and how I feel so it says our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us we ask ourselves who am I to be brilliant gorgeous talented and fabulous actually who are you not to be you are here for a reason you playing small does not serve the world there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you we are born to make manifest the glory that is within us it is within everyone and as we let our light shine we unconsciously give others the permissions to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear our presence automatically liberates others that is the most beautiful quote ever so marianne williamson i, I pray i'll meet you one day i pray i meet you one day because my goodness like this quote has sat with me for years and I always battle with it because I'm like, you know, I want, I want to be able to showcase 
you know, what God has done for me. And I want people to have someone that they can relate to um, in whatever format that looks like. You know, I think the most beautiful thing is when you're talking to someone and you're opening up and you're telling them about something that you're going through and you feel like you might get judged and all of a sudden they go, baby girl, I've been through the same thing. And this is what I saw and this is how I felt and this is how it got me through and this is what I did and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, it's not to say that you necessarily feel valid. There is a, an area of validation that you feel, but it's almost like there's that feeling of I'm not alone. I'm not alone in this. And I think one thing I've realised by going through social media is that we've all more or less lived the same life. Like, I feel like the things that we've, like, experienced for the most part, I think one thing that had me, like, spun was, um, what do you call it? When you go open your cutlery drawer and there's that one fork that you never want to use. And I'm like, bro, does, has everyone lived the life I've lived? Like, I've got cutlery in there that I will never touch, but I have it in there. Um, and it's like the one that you just, mm, doesn't feel right in your hand. For whatever reason, you just don't want to touch it. Not involved. And if, if if it's the last one in there, you'll go and wash up. At that point, it will tell you, you need to wash up your cutlery. Um, which you should be washing up every day, by the way. But yeah, it's like, you know, things like that happen. And I'm thinking to myself, we've all lived the same life. And there's like weird things that we're all happy to share, but the difficult things we all keep to ourselves because we think we're the only ones that are going through it. And we feel like we're gonna be vulnerable or we feel like people might mock us or ridicule us um, or judge us. And that might not be the case. It might be that actually someone listening to this video right now is like, I'm with you V, like there's things that I've wanted to do in my life and I've been feeling so scared to put myself out there because I'm scared of failure or I'm scared of success. Like one thing I'm scared of is success. Like I'm scared of being successful. I don't know what that looks like. I know what not being successful looks like. It looks like me sitting on the sofa, chilling, you know, and then going on holidays here and there. But me being successful, I don't know what that looks like. I've never had a taste of it. I've got no control over it. You know, control's a big thing. Like not having control over what's coming next and not knowing how to handle it and seeing the downside of success and the, like the upside of it, like, it's a very scary place, but at the same time, like it doesn't help me not doing what I'm called to do. And it wouldn't help the people that I'm supposed to share this message with, right? So yeah, anyway, guys, my name is Vanessa Balibu. You're gonna learn how to say that. You're gonna learn as my sister said, oh, okay with the balloons. <laughs> I don't do video editing, but that was on purpose. Um, no, but yeah. Um, what do you call it? My name is Vanessa Badibo, as I said. Um, and it's amazing to meet y'all. And I'm so happy to be here. So we're going to keep trying. Y'all going to see some videos. You're going to see some things. I'll try to do better in terms of like my video editing and adding stuff in. If anybody wants to join the, the cause, by the way, shout me. If anyone's a video editor out there, wants to inv get themselves involved and thinks I can get better quality video than I've got right now, amazing. Um, I'll be hiring at some point. Obviously right now, pro bono. Um, I'll do the IOU tab thing. Um, but yeah, if you wanna join the team, let me know. Um, but no, seriously guys, like I'm excited to be here. It's 2024, we gonna do some stuff. We gonna get ourselves out there. We gonna do everything. Um, and I'm not gonna be scared. I'm just gonna be me and see what happens. It can only go wrong, right? Anyway, I'm out. Love y'all. Bye. No worries.